5, I hope you're all okay. Um, today we're going to be ordering and comparing decimals, but as a bit of a warm-up, a bit of a starter, here we've got some flashback questions for you to have a go at. I will set it up and you can hear the questions being read out to you. Here is today's flashback form. Pause the video here and have a go at the questions, then write down the time on the clock. OK, I'll give you slightly longer. So we're going to round 7.18 to the nearest whole number. We will write 0 0.07 as a fraction. We will find the sum of 1 third, 1 fifth and 1 sixth. Remember to do that, what you're going to need to do is to convert those fractions um, so that the denominator is the same. So you'll need to look carefully at finding an equivalent denominator. If you're stuck with that one, don't worry about it. Um, and then what's the mathematical name of this shape? And don't forget the time too. Here are the solutions. Time on the clock is 26 minutes past five. Just want to quickly draw your attention to number three again. So we had to find the sum of the three fractions, and to do that, we needed to look at a denominator um, that was common, the lowest common denominator. So you need to look for a multiple of all three numbers, the lowest common multiple of all three numbers. So which number? is in the three times table, the five times table, and the six times table, the lowest possible. So six is um, our largest number, so we'll start there, one with one six. To get from six to 30, we need to multiply six by five. So whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So our numerator, we're also multiplying by five, and that becomes five um, thirtieths. If we look at the fifth now, one fifth, five goes into 30 six times. So to make our denominator 30, we multiply five by six to get 30, and then we do the same to the top. So we get six thirtieths. And then to get one third into 30, to get from three to 30, we need to multiply both the top and the bottom numbers by 10. So 3 times 10 is 30, that gives us our denominator of 30, that common denominator. And then the numerator, we also need to multiply by 10, so 1 multiplied by 10 is 10. So all of our numerators are 30, that stays the same. What we then need to do is to add up the denominator that, sorry, our denominators stay the same and our numerators are all different. We then need to add up the 6, the 5 and the 10 that we've generated, which gives us a total of 21. OK, let's carry on. Today we're learning how to order and compare decimals. Here's a place value grid showing 10s and 1s. Because 10s have a greater value than 1s, any number in the 10s column will have a greater value than any number in the ones column. So in the number 26, the two 10 counters have a greater value than the six ones. The position or place on the grid determines its value. What's changed and what stayed the same? Here, we're considering decimal numbers. So here, in the decimal 2.6, the 2 has a greater value than the 6 because of its place on the grid. Notice how the counters now show 1s and 10s, and they're now separated by a decimal point. You can determine the value of a number by looking at where the digits are on the place value grid. So 10.21 has 110, 
no ones, two tenths, and a hundred. Notice there are no ones, so that place on the grid is empty. With the number 8.68, there looks to be many more counters, but the number has a lower value because there are no tens. 8.59 has the same amount of ones and more hundreds, but it has fewer tenths, so it has a smaller value. You can see here it's really important to compare each unit at the same time, each value at the same time. So tens is larger than ones. Ones with 8.68 and 8.59, they are the same, but the tenths where we start to see a variance. So we've got six tenths in 8.68 over here, and we've only got five over here. So it doesn't matter how many hundredths they've got because they are a smaller value. What we need to look at, these are the same, so we need to go into the next column on the right and have a look at the value of those digits in the tenths column. Pause the video here and have a go at questions one and two. To compare the value of two numbers, we should look at the place value of each of the digits. 3.56 is greater than 3.46 because it has a greater number of tenths. 35.6 is greater than 3.56 because it has three tens. And 6.98 is less than 7.01 because it has fewer ones. Pause the video here and have a go at question three. Let's look at another place value grid. This time, let's just put the numbers in and not the counters. You can imagine the counters if you'd like. Let's try and put these numbers in order. We want to start with the smallest number. Let's begin by looking at the tens column. The number with the fewest tens is 35.03. This is the smallest number. The other numbers both have seven tens. So we need to look at the next column to the right. This is the ones. There are the same number of ones in 76.3 and 76.41. So we need to look at the number of tenths. 76.3 has three tenths and 76.41 has four tenths. Therefore, 76.3 is the next number. The largest number is 76.41. In order, our numbers are 35.03, 76.3, and 76.41. To put a series of numbers in order, we continue to use this comparison between each place value column. So for the numbers 5.4, 5.5, 5.33, and 5.44, we need to look first at the ones. Here, we can see that each number has the same amount of ones. So we can move on to look at the tenths. Here, we have two numbers with four tenths, one with three, and one with five. This means that we've found the largest and smallest numbers and can begin to rearrange the order. We're left with 5.4 and 5.44 and can compare the hundredths. 5.44 has four hundredths, while 5.4 has no hundredths. So 5.44 has the greater value. 
We can now arrange the final two numbers. Pause the worksheet here and have a go at the remaining questions. OK, I hope that's useful for you to have a look at. I've also put some additional questions um, into the shared area. If you found today a bit tricky, have a go and have a little practice with some of those just to make sure you were sure about comparing decimals with one and two decimal places. Take care.